Hello, future scientists. Today we will define what living and non-living things are. We will enumerate some of the characteristics of living and non-living things. In this lesson, we will also classify living and non-living things in their environment. You can assess yourself at the end of the lesson if you can identify living and non-living things. Can you name some living things around us? And can you differentiate the characteristics of living and non-living things? These are the keywords that we will use in our lesson today. Sort, it means to arrange systematically in groups or separate according to type. Groups is a number of people or things that are put in a group or groups or class together. Classify means to arrange, okay, like a group of people or things. We will arrange in classes or categories according to shared qualities or characteristics. Similar, almost, but not exactly the same. Something that is not uh, quite the same as something else. Different, that is the opposite of similar. It means not the same. Living means alive and non-living, something that does not breathe, move, eat, or sense things. Environment, it is the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant lives or operates. Watch these videos about living and non-living things to help you understand more about the lesson. Now let's look at the pictures below and find out the difference between these two pandas. Scientists look for things that are the same and different. They group things such as animals in the sea and other ways. Again, apply what you have learned from Unit 1 plants and Unit 3 living and growing to find out how they are different to one another. Is it alive or not? You can see here this cell phone. A girl, flower, teddy bear this cat and cactus now how you will group these things scientists often try to sort things into groups we can classify things by what they look like or by what they do we can group this girl with a flower and also this cat and cactus as alive now how do you know that they belong in one group in this alive group because all of these are living things. They breathe, move, reproduce, and senses things around their environment. How about the cell phone and teddy bear? Yes, they are not alive. Simply because they cannot do those things which alive things can do. They do not breathe, do not move, do not reproduce, and do not use their senses. Living things, these are the things that are alive. Who need food, water? and air to stay alive. These are the animals, plants, and even humans just like us. They are living things because they have the ability to reproduce or give birth, grow, and change on their own and respond to changes in the environment. In this lesson, we will talk about living things, particularly the plants and animals. But what are the characteristics of living things? All living things need the ability to move. For example, okay, you can see this girl walking with a cat and this mom and her daughter playing with their dog. Now they are moving, walking, playing, talking. These are actions of movement. Now all living things need to grow and stay healthy. Therefore, they can take, they can take in substances such as food and energy to stay healthy. For example, humans from a baby to a big boy. All living things must be able to exchange gases with the atmosphere, which is called respiration or when you, when you breathe, okay? Living things must take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. All living things reproduce. Reproducing is the process of giving birth, like a cat gives birth to a kitten and human gives birth to children. And plants reproduce foods. These animals, such as monkey, chicken, elephant, and dolphins, eat food, drink water, and take in and breathe air. Animals give birth to their young ones. They grow, I, they grow as they get bigger and have changes in their physical appearance. They respond to changes in the environment like running away from those who attack them. Plants get their food through photosynthesis, take in water through their roots, and take in. Now, photosynthesis is a process by which green plants and certain other organisms 
transform light energy into chemical energy. Plants reproduce and remember, they grow as they get taller and bigger, have changes in their physical appearance, and respond to changes in the environment like bending towards the direction of light. Now let's talk about non-living things, things that were once alive or have never been alive. Non-living things, okay, these are the things that do not need food, do not need water and air, just like this lollies, table and chair, and even this mailbox. These things do not have the ability to reproduce or give birth, grow, and change on their own or respond to their environment. You already know what living and non-living things are. We also enumerated some of the characteristics of living and non-living things and classify living and non-living things in the environment. Now, how is living thing different from, from something that has never lived? This is a rabbit and this is a teddy bear. Okay, now, the term living thing refers to things that are now or once were alive. And which one here is a living thing? Okay, it's a rabbit. Now, a non-living thing is anything that was never alive. Then, it is a teddy bear here that was never alive. Now, let's test yourself. Classify the following things that can be found in our environment. Okay, so click on the living button if it is a living thing. Or click the non-living button if it is a non-living thing. Are you ready? Okay, now, butterfly. Is it living or non-living? You are correct. It is a living thing. Why? Because it needs food, water, and air to stay alive. It has the ability to reproduce or give birth, grow, and change on their own and respond to changes in environment. Okay, how about this table? Living or non-living? Very good. It is a non-living thing. Again, remember the characteristics of living things. Therefore, this table is non-living thing because it does not need food, does not need water, air, okay, to stay alive. It does not have the ability to reproduce or give birth grow and change on their own and respond to changes in environment. Now challenge yourself. Observe and look for things around you to find answer with these questions. What are living things? What are the differences between living and non-living? Okay, and can you give five examples of living things? Future scientists, thank you and well done.